Hey guys, welcome back. I want to show you this 1965 C20 we've been working on. Most of it has been uh, off camera, sort of before we had the idea to start recording this stuff. Uh, today we're working on putting in a stereo and the rest of the stuff that goes along with it uh, before we turn this truck back over to the customer. Uh, but I thought I might make a video of it, show you guys what we're working on. You can at least see the stereo we put in it, sort of give you guys a, any tips, tricks we pick up on the installation, fitment, how it looks, how it sounds, that kind of thing and then walk you through some of the other stuff we did on here as well. So let's go ahead and take a dive in. That's not stupid. Take, take the dive in. Truck. You know, dive into a truck. So this project really started uh, with the idea of going over the truck, giving everything a once over for the customer, giving them the sense of uh, safety that everything was right. So we started with an inspection, looking for anything that needed to be repaired or anything that was incorrect and then gave them options on what we were going to do and eventually we'll go through this whole thing and we'll restore it uh, and do a whole complete paint job and everything on it but for now we just wanted to go through the mechanical things in sort of a phased approach get them the truck back so he can enjoy it so um, one of the things you'll notice on here is we put on headman headers they're long tube headers that go down to the bottom we did new plugs and wires put boots on it to protect the plug wires from heat um, we went through everything mechanically, did a compression test, replaced the spark plugs, made sure the carburetor was running right. Um, it had these lines reversed, the in was out and out was in, so we fixed all that. Put a new alternator bracket on it, of course, because the old uh, um, Rams horn heads had that integrated bracket, so we had to fabricate this to make it work. And then, you know, we went through the wiring. There was some wiring that needed to be addressed. Some of the stuff wasn't done quite correctly. Oh, there's where that half inch wrench is. That's nice. Um, and then he had had it rewired at a previous shop and overall they did a pretty good job, but there's just a few things where it just wasn't quite white. They didn't replace some of these wires like they should have. They didn't route everything back where it needed to go. Um, and they didn't clean everything up quite as nice as it could have been. Some of the things just weren't wired quite in right. On the interior, um, it's really just, oh, that one skewed really just uh cleaning up what was in here the hazard lights were wired in incorrectly the the resistor on the heater wasn't there so he didn't have all three speeds of heat uh we cleaned up all the wiring under here to make it look nice and neat and route things out of the way the um, headlight high beam switch was incorrectly wired so he was getting a, sh um, a ground out on that and it would stop working you know really when he needed it so we cleaned all that stuff up um, but overall the truck's really nice as you can see, keep walking around back here. We put a Flowmaster exhaust on it. It's all the way, you know, up to the headers, obviously, dual on both sides. It's got an H pipe, it's their American Thunder series. Um, so it sounds pretty nice. We can fire the truck up for you and have you guys take a listen to it. The fitment is not great, uh, it's meant for C10s. This is being a C20, we had to make some modifications, uh, shorten the H pipe to get everything to lay in there the way we needed it and get it out of the way of the clearance of things like suspension components and, and the driveline and everything. But we were able to modify it enough to get it uh, where we needed to go. It's a little bit lower than I would have liked, but that was the, as much as we could get it tucked up given uh, what we were working with. So, And then we've been measuring it for wheels and tires, trying to figure out what his options are because it's an eight lug and, and he wanted to keep those original hubcaps. So we've come up with a couple of strategies. These are those multi-piece wheels and they actually have a uh, tube inside of them so it's in it's an you know a half dimension that's hard to find for uh tires for and you know he was just a little bit worried about having to mess around with this you know two-piece wheel so we found a one piece that's going to work for him we'll modify it to weld on some tabs to hold those original hubcaps and it's going to look quite nice but unfortunately the wheels are like a six week lead time so we just we don't have them yet And then over here you can see the pasture side pretty nice it was restored quite a few years ago um you know not the best some of the paints flaking off because the prep work wasn't quite right but we'll we'll get it sorted so we'll start off uh throwing in this uh, radio system and uh, show you guys what we got 